Cherry Lane's here battling bombshells. It's an all-women's wrestling organization. They're here in Hollywood, Florida, having a show tonight. And first, they're having an event. The event is to benefit legendary wrestler Joyce Grable. What's it like being a part of a show where it is going to someone that has been in the business and meant a lot to women's wrestling? Exactly. It's one of those things where you want to help out the women that have been here before you because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have what we have now. We wouldn't have all of the opportunities we have now or have the knowledge that we do have now. So anytime we can give back to those that came before us, it's an amazing thing. What's it like training to become a wrestler? You had different types of trainers from Mikey Whipwreck to Jay Lethal. Now you're with Lexi Fife in Florida. What's that been like for you? It's been a very, very uh, difference in change for me because I went from training with a bunch of hard, like, hard guys to training with a bunch of fun guys who we had a lot of fun and we worked on things and it was like family to now with Lexi, it's, it, I have gained the most knowledge of wrestling, of character development, of promos and everything from her. Like even down to her helping me develop a character because I really didn't have one. And that's kind of the issue with girls wrestling now is that nobody has that anymore and I wanted to bring something different. So she teaches you movesets and why you do certain things the way that you do them. The guys that you've trained under have been outstanding. They've done very well. The question I want to ask is, but is it different being trained by another woman? Someone that you can maybe relate a little better to? It is different um, training with another woman because who better to know what a woman's body can do in the ring other than another woman? And somebody who's paved the way for us girls to begin with and has seen the ins and outs, the good and bad of the business and can teach you, hey, you know, for women, this is something unique you can do. Or for a women's match, try this instead of this. Guys can only teach you the way a guy's body moves or a guy's style match should be. She teaches you how to do like a girl's, a g female way of doing things. We talked a little prior about Glow Wrestling and Campy, character based, but it was very successful on syndicated TV. Just what are your thoughts why we haven't really seen anything like that or even better than that on TV? Because a lot of the reason that we haven't seen anything like Glow on TV is because they're very based on appearance and model esque and model looking. I loved Glow. I grew up watching Glow. I loved the girls on Glow because they were all very campy and that's what I like. I like the characters. I like getting engaged in the story. I like engaging in the characters. I like seeing what different characters will do next. That's what I liked about it and I think they should bring that back because it was more entertaining for the fans. What does Battling Bombshells have to offer and is it different from Glow? It's different from, it's, it is different from Glow because, you know, Glow was one of a kind and all on its own. Here, I like it because we have a bunch of different types of girls. It's not the same looking model type of girl. You have everybody who's all shapes and sizes, all colors, all different skill abilities. So we all grow and learn from each other. And Battling Bombshells, is there a lot more wrestling? More emphasis on wrestling? Yes, there is. It's not a lot of, um, and pardon the expression, it's not a lot of TNA. It's a lot more of wrestling and to see what the girls can do and matches rather than who's the sexiest one on the roster, who can show the most skin. It's about your work in the ring. How important is it, especially for women, for something like this to explode or make an impact? It seems that women's wrestling is now making an explosion and there's different companies in Florida that run and have women's shows and it, it is important because it shows what we can do just and we're not just valets, we're not just managers, we're not just ring announcers. It shows that women can actually be a significant part of this sport and show what we can do talent wise. Do you also think that women will get more respect as far as wrestlers? Usually on a show you'll see a lot of men's matches and then maybe one women's match. Here it's the other way around. You see all women's matches and maybe one man, men's match. I do think it'll gain us women more respect because the men will see us as their counterparts, not just their, I don't know how to say it. Added attraction? Or... Yeah, it, we're no longer added attractions. We're a significant part of the show now. And we have our own shows where the men are kind of the added attraction, which is nice to turn the tables a little bit. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.